Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make modded outfits with the save wizard. So let's get it. Alright, you're going to need a few things for this glitch, alright? You're going to need the save wizard, you're going to need a modded save, and GTA save editor. All of which are linked in the description, guys. So go ahead and download those on your PC or laptop, and then we'll be ready to start the glitch. Now, first thing you're going to want to do, load into single player, all right, and we're just going to create a new save right here, okay? So, pull up your phone, go to quick save. All right, once you select quick save, just create a new save right here, okay? That way we can get a new one with the time and date on it so you'll know which one you're using. I'm using this old one right here because I already have outfits on this one, but you're just going to create a new one right here. And then once you've created that, go ahead and put your USB into your PS4, go down to settings. All right, go to Application Save Data Management. It's going to ask if you want to close GTA. You're going to select OK. You're going to select Save Data and System Storage. You're going to click Copy to USB. Then you're going to select GTA 5. All right, it's going to bring you up to right here. You're going to select that save that you just made. Check the time and date to make sure it's the one you just made. Make sure it doesn't say Backup beside it, and then click on Copy. OK, you're going to accept the alerts here and just copy it to your USB. Now, once it's copied to your USB, you're gonna come over here and put the USB in your PC or laptop, and you're gonna open up the save editor, all right? Now you should already have the modded save downloaded um, on your PC or laptop. So once you're over here, just, just allow this to load up here. As soon as it loads up, click Grand Theft Auto 5. All right, now you're gonna go up here to the top left you're going to click on open file, all right? Now we're going to select that file that we downloaded, okay? It should say this right here, uh, bird skip, all right? This is what it's going to be. We're going to click on this one and select open, all right? Select yes, because it's going to create a backup file for us. Now, right here, we're going to go scroll down, and we're going to select the little t-shirt by other, all right? Now, once we selected this, this is going to bring up the file where we're going to make all of our outfits, okay? So how we do this is we select an outfit slot. We can use any of these top 10, all right, shortlist actors, any of these, all right? Now, what you'll do is you'll simply select one of these. So I'll start out with one here, all right? Now, I already have outfits made, you can see, and you want to make sure every time, if you're using a male character, then you're going to select multiplayer male. If you're using a female, select multiplayer female, okay? You do this on every outfit you make. Make sure you select free mode one, regardless of whether it's male or female. And then, you know, you can see right here I change it to male to show you it's the same way. You select free mode one, all right, whether it's male or female, okay? But make sure you have the right multiplayer selected. So I'm using a female, so I'm selecting multiplayer female. I'm selecting free mode one. And then make sure these are always on beach bum, okay? And the bottom tab will default to boardwalker automatically, okay? So now on your mask, you always want this mask, the penguin Christmas mask, every time. You need this on every outfit you make, all right? And now you're going to go through here and you're just going to select components, okay? Don't use gloves. You'll see I had gloves on this outfit. There's not much to choose from here anyways. They're all like gray or black, so there's not a whole lot of gloves to choose from. So just make sure when you come in here, make sure this is on default. And it should be already unless you change it. But like I said, don't use gloves. They'll make invisible components and some of them won't save correctly. So you see right here I select default. All right, leave that as default on gloves. Now the rest of these you can select whatever you want to, all right? Um... You're just going to scroll through. You see right here on legs, I have white joggers. Now, see how it says tan striped boxer shorts? All right, don't go by the name. Just double click this bar right here and then use your up and down keys to scroll through the stuff like this, all right? And use the picture as your guide. Like I said, what it says in the little box isn't correct, okay? Use the picture as your guide. What's in the picture is what you're going to get, all right? So go through all of these tabs here and select all the components you want for each actor, okay? Now, once you've made uh, your selections and components. All you have to do is go up to the little down bar beside short actor one, shortlist actor one, and just select shortlist actor two. You don't have to do anything to save each one. Once you put that the components on there, it's already saved right here. Okay, so you can just keep going back to the shortlist actor bar there, and you can change it to number two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then you can fill all of these up with different modded outfits. All right, make sure the penguin mask is on every outfit though. Okay. If you don't have the penguin mask on there, it doesn't save. So you see right here, I've got outfits made for every one right here, all right? I think one through five, not every one. But, um, you know, you can see right here, see how they're all multiplayer female, free mode one, beach bombs, boardwalker. Now let me show you what happens when you select a new one. It'll say animals here, see? So we'll have to go through here and set this up for every one of them that we make an outfit for. 
you know, choose whether male or female, free mode one, and then beach bums, all right? So once you've got all those set up, just exit out of there and click save file, all right? We're gonna select okay. All right, now we can exit out of the GTA save editor, all right? Now we're gonna open up save wizard, okay? So we've, we've put all the components on all the shortlist actors that we wanna make outfits for, okay? So we're just gonna open up save wizard. We're gonna select okay right here. All right, we're gonna double click this down arrow, right click on our save. This is the save we brought from the PS4. We're gonna click advanced mode, all right? Now it's gonna open it up in code form for us. Give it a second to load up here. Okay, now once this loads up, we're gonna go up here to the top right and click import file, all right? This is where we're gonna select the file we downloaded, right here, bird skip, okay? We're gonna select this one, and then we're gonna click open. All right, now we're gonna press zero on our keyboard, all right? It'll bring up this menu here. We'll select a, or continue, we'll select apply, and then we'll select yes, okay? Now, this is gonna overwrite that save on our PS, that we brought from the PS4 with the modded save that we just created right here with the outfits, all right? So we're just gonna give this a second to save here. All right, now it's done. Just click okay. Now we can close out uh, save wizard. And we'll go down here and select um, eject a USB device, all right? So we're just gonna go down here, eject the USB. We can take it out and insert it back into our PS4 now. We're done with the PC, okay? So same thing here, go to settings. Go down to application save data management. Click on save data on USB this time. Copy to system storage. Select Grand Theft Auto. And then right here, we're gonna select that file and click copy, okay? Now, once we've copied that file, we're just gonna load back up GTA, all right? And we should load into a single player session, all right? And you should, you should teleport like this. See how I teleported inside? All right, now if that doesn't happen for you, if you don't load in like that, then you probably loaded in on an old save. You need to load up that new save that we just made, okay? So go down here to load game and select the save that you just overwrote, all right? You should be able to tell by the time um, if you didn't load in like I did outside and then you teleport inside, okay? You may be on the wrong save. Um, but you should load in like that outside and then you'll teleport inside, okay? And from here, we can just continue on, all right? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna start up an invite only session from here, all right? To play GT online, invite only session, okay? All right, now as soon as we load in, we're just gonna go into any clothing store, all right? And we're gonna equip an outfit that's gonna allow these um, modded outfits to transfer. So go over here and you're gonna select the Chica outfit, okay? Just gonna equip this, all right? You're gonna back out and you're gonna remove all the accessories, all right? So if you have a parachute on, Go on your parachute, turn that off, then go to your accessories and unequip the earrings, okay? Make sure there's no other accessories on it. All right, and once we've done that, we're simply gonna make our way to a time trial, okay? Now, if you don't know how to find the time trials because they change places every week, I'm gonna show you right here, okay? Hold your interactions button down, go down to your hide options, all right? Scroll down to other, and then scroll down and you should find time trial in here, okay? They see it right there and we're going to turn it to show it may be on hide turn it over to show so we can see it on the map now we'll pause and we'll scroll around you see this is what the time trial icon looks like just put a waypoint on it and we're going to make our way down there all right all right once we're down here near the time trial you want to go ahead and just grab any street car all right and we're going to drive it over to the time trial okay Okay, once we've made our way over to the time trial, we're just gonna press right on the D-pad to start the time trial. And then we're gonna hold down on the D-pad and we're gonna select a story mode character. It doesn't matter which one, just select any one. All right, except the alert to exit to story mode. Okay, once we load in, you should load in as Michael. If not, it's okay. I've loaded in as Michael every time. Okay, so that should be how you load in right here as Michael. Um, now, Michael's gonna make a phone call once you load in, okay? 
As soon as Lester answers the phone, pause the game, go over to Rockstar Editor, select it, and then we're gonna scroll down to director mode and we're gonna enter director mode, all right? Accept the alert. All right, once we're in director mode, this is where we'll get to see our outfits for the first time, okay? Now, hover over your online character. So select actors, online character. Do not select this character, just hover here. Press circle, circle again, and then go down to shortlist actors and press X, okay? Now we can scroll through our outfits right here. You'll see these are the outfits that I made. Um, and then this is where you'll get to see if the components were exactly what you wanted them to be, okay? So once you're here, just select an outfit, press X, and then we'll enter director mode right here, all right? With our online character. All right, once we've loaded in right here, just open up your interactions menu and you'll notice you have a double menu, all right? To fix this, just press X, okay? Once we press X, we can scroll back, all right? Press circle one time to go back and then we're just gonna quit director mode, okay? Accept the alert to exit director mode and we should load into single player like this with our online character, all right? Now, once we're in here, all we have to do from here, guys, is just pause the game, and we're going to start up an invite-only session, okay? So pause your game over to online, play GT online, invite-only session. Start it up, okay? Now, that's pretty much it, guys. That's, we've brought the outfit online, okay? Nothing special from here on out. All we have to do is make our way over to a clothing store and save the outfit like you would normally save any outfit, okay? Nothing special here. We've got the outfit in the online already, all right? So once you're to the clothing store, you're simply gonna save the outfit like you would normally save any outfit, guys, okay? Now from here on out, if you wanna rinse and repeat, you have to start back from the very beginning where we loaded in with Franklin in single player, okay? You don't have to go back out to the save wizard or back to your PC. You just need to go back to story mode and make sure you load in on the save where we spawn outside of Franklin's house and we get teleported to inside, okay? That should happen each time we go back to start over with an outfit. And then we'll just rinse and repeat the glitch from there, okay? So if you enjoyed the video, drop me a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to subscribe with your post notifications on so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.